Governor Eric Greitens' legal problems could clog legislative work in Jefferson City. Missouri's legislative leaders are considering holding off on sending bills to the governor who is now facing two criminal investigations. Senate and House leaders have talked about potentially holding on to bills that have passed both chambers until the end of the session because of the governor's legal trouble, but no final decision has been made. Bills that could be affected include several aimed at helping people addicted to opioids. Others would change the state's foster care system. Joining us in the studio now for some perspective, some context on the governor's legal situation, John Lynch, legal analyst for Five on Your Side. John, I guess, what do you make of these latest charges against the governor uh, that he has uh, a felony charge for stealing a donor list, allegedly, from the Mission Continues, the charity he founded? Well, on, in writing, they're certainly damning. Uh, if you just read the complaint, uh, allegations that you would misuse a charity donor list uh, for political gain, uh, that conjures up a whole bunch of questions regarding the ethics of the Greitens campaign. However, when you delve deeper into the uh, details of this uh, charity, I think Ed Dowd had a good point. It's Greitens charity. He created it person by person. And so I think that there is a, I think the timing of this particular complaint is dubious. Ed Dowd is the governor's attorney, just to be clear. And essentially he said, how do you steal something you created yourself? And I think that's a valid point. And uh, I, again, I say that the timing is dubious because the charges were filed by complaint, not indictment. Not that that really matters. That's just procedural to formality. But it comes off the heels of very valid questions regarding what I believe and what my opinion is a crumbling state case with respect to the invasion of privacy. The case that's currently going on that could have been tossed out earlier this week, the judge decided to go ahead and let it continue, but had some kind of harsh words for the prosecutor and how they've handled this so far. And, and, and absolutely, and that's because if you look at the underlying facts and circumstances surrounding this case, you have a police department that's not involved in investigation. You have the U.S. Attorney's Office not being involved in this investigation of a governor. Uh, you have an outside investigator uh, handling all aspects of the state's um, investigation and then you find out that he lied under oath uh, and those are some very serious allegations and they have to eat that uh, when this case goes to trial so I think it was almost a saving grace uh, for the state to be given that information from Josh Hawley's office. You're, you're, the things you just listed there you're talking about in the invasion of privacy case where the governor's accused of taking that photo and then transmitted but yes sir you, but back to the other one you mentioned Josh Hawley the attorney general uh, you know, is that significant when the AG weighs in and says he's willing to help the circuit attorney in this case? Well, I think it's significant, but we have to remember the hyper-political environment that we're in with respect to Governor Greitens. And, and I'm not taking a political side for these purposes, but Governor Greitens hasn't done himself any favors with making friends on both sides of the aisle. Uh, and then we also have to remember Josh Hawley is also running for Senate. And I'm not impugning his integrity, but I think that Josh Hawley, based on his opponent, uh, a continuing casting of aspersions of having an association with Greitens is trying to rid himself of everything Greitens so he can focus on his campaign. So I think he wanted to compartmentalize what's going on and say, hey, here, you take this, my office will assist you in it. So that way he looks unbiased and can focus on his political aspirations. I know attorneys don't often make predictions, but do you think the governor's convicted on either, either of these charges? In my opinion, I think the invasion of privacy case uh, is... Um, questionable, and that's my nice term. I don't want to opine on the um, tampering with computer data, but that also seems suspect to me just based on cases that I've had uh, of a similar ilk with no political component. Um, so I would say the government has an, the governor has an excellent shot with respect to the criminal charges. Politically, that's another story. John Lynch, thanks for your time and, your, and for your perspective. We appreciate yes, it. Yes, sir.